So I've had this question that's been on my mind since I started doing YouTube, and that is, uh, what am I going to call the people who watch my videos? And I finally came up with it. You guys are trouser stands. Or you stand for trousers, whichever one, however it works. Um, we're, we're using stan. You guys stand for me, unless you don't, but hopefully you do. What's up, you guys? Welcome to my happy place. So a little while back, I did a video where I sang a song uh, while under the effects of a hot pepper, and it seemed to go pretty well. It was a pretty funny video, so I figured I'd do another one. Um, but this time, I'm doing it with an even hotter pepper, and I'm not going to be singing this time. I'm actually going to be doing uh, a poem. This is my favorite poem. It's the only poem I know by heart. It's called The Jabberwocky. It's written by Lewis Carroll, who you would know from Alice in Wonderland. The Jabberwocky was actually performed by Johnny Depp in the second, I think it was, Alice in Wonderland that came out a little while back that wasn't a great movie, but still. The Jabberwocky is a poem made up of a bunch of made-up words. The whole point of the poem is that it's supposed to convey an imagery to you uh, without using a whole lot of actual English words. An argument can be made that a lot of the words in the poem are portmanteau words. I would argue against that because they're similar to portmanteau words, but not exactly. I'm really into linguistics. I don't know if you know this. That's actually my major. A portmanteau word is a word that is made up of two different words being squashed together uh, to have a similar meaning to both words, um, but creating a new word in and of itself. Motel is motor hotel. That would be an example of a portmanteau word. And this poem is made up of portmanteau words, but mostly just nonsense words. The whole point of the poem is that it is made up of made up words that convey a message to you and an imagery, and you can understand what's going on in the poem even though none of the words are actual English. It's a great poem, and I'm about to say it while eating a hot pepper. This is the pepper, it's a jalapeno pepper, which means it's hotter than the last one I had, so I'm hoping that this goes well. I'm also going to put the poem in the description down below, just so you guys can check that I'm doing it correctly. I know that I can do it correctly uh, when not under the influences of a hot pepper, but I have no idea how that's going to go uh, while eating a hot pepper. The big pepper. I don't even like peppers. That's another thing that like bothers me about doing these videos. Is that I really don't like peppers. Okay, here we go. I'm like getting flashbacks from last time. I fucked up. <laughs> I'm trying not to reach for the water. Was brilliant in the slithy toves at Gyre and Gimble of the Wave. <sighs> Almonds with the barrel goats. And the Mumrats out grape. <sighs> Beware the devil walk, my son, the jaws that bite the claws to catch. <sighs> Come for milk. Oh god. Beware the jub jub bird and shun the frumiest bander snatch. Uh, he took his warble blade in hand long time the manks and foe we sought. So rested he by a tum tum tree and stood a while and thought. And as enough his thought he stood, the jabberwock with eyes of flame came whiffling through the told you what a burble as it came. Oh my god, I feel like so vibrating. One, two, one, two, one, through, one, through, the rope of plate, one snicker snack. He left it dead and with its head he went galumping back. And as that was like the jabberwock. Come to my arms, my beamish boy, a frap just day, kalookalay, he chortled in his joy. Twas brilliant in the slithy toes, did gyre and gimble in the wave. Oh, mimsy were the burr goats and the mom rats out grape. I said I'm out of milk. I think I got the whole thing. I might have missed the verse. If you liked this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. I come out with videos every Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday. If you want to follow me on any of my social medias, all of that is in the description down below. From my happy place, I'm Zach. Now go away. No matter where you roam, you will always have a home. You will never be alone because where you go, I will go. No matter where you hide. 
Uh. Oh God! Do you need to sign? Ah. Uh. Uh.